Welcome to the next installment of Magic Through History. Um, we're going to look at the changes in sets from Alpha through 4th edition. Um, mainly in, uh, obviously, Drain Life and uh, what the differences are, be it small or big, from set to set. So we're going to start off with uh, Alpha. And all these cards are on loan from uh, my local game store. Uh, the store is called Dungeons and Dodgers. It's in uh, Fort Dodge, Iowa. And uh, he does, you know, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, you know, all the general stuff that LGSs have. And he also sells uh, video games and uh, hosts tournaments and does special stuff for the community. So, big thanks to Ethan over at Dungeons & Dodgers. So, let's start checking these cards out and we'll see where we can go. So, uh, this is an Alpha, Drain Life. And uh, right off the bat, you'll, well, some people will notice, you'll see that the uh, corners are quite round. Now, if you compare that to a newer Magic card, You'll see, the newer ones have a, I don't have anything in to use this key. You'll see that the corner here sticks out on the newer cards because on the first edition alpha, they had very rounded corners. Um, they went away from that, but uh, yeah, you'll see that it's just quite a bit rounder. Um, overall, the, uh, whoa, hold on, I want to throw this in here quick. All right, so, I've, the rumor's been, or at least I've been told a few times, that the Alpha cards were made by a playing card company, and the rounded corners were originally meant to be, you know, because they used dies that were cut for playing cards. I just want to check this out. So I've got a regular playing card sitting here. You know? And uh, that's true. They should have the same corners as this. But I'm not thinking. It, it doesn't look the same just by eyeballing it. Because even looking at this, you know, an alpha card, just looking at it, it doesn't look like a, like a normal playing card. It almost looks like it's more rounded than that, even. So let's 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 check this out. All right. Oh, look at that. So the modern, you know, a beta on seems like they're actually using a the traditional playing card corner. Yeah. So that rumor that I heard wasn't right because alpha corners don't match up with playing cards. So yeah, it's a interesting tidbit. I thought I'd throw that in there. The backs and everything look the same. And uh, if you zoom in with the uh, microscope I mean even the, the the dot pattern on all these is the same so but yeah the the main thing that sticks out here is the rounded corners and the text much darker along with a mana symbol you now this is the one on top here is a beta very beat up but the text was much darker on Alpha than Beta. So, much easier to read on Beta, in my opinion. So yeah, going to Beta, obviously they changed the corners. They went with uh, much lighter uh, text. 
stacks the same. Now going to unlimited, obviously white border. There's a reprint set. Everything looks pretty much the same between the two, just uh, white border is the only difference. Not a lot of big changes. Um, you notice on the unlimited card compared to the beta, the uh, the border here compared to this one. This is a single black line. This has a double, it's a double line. If you can, yeah, you can see it pretty good there. Single black line, a light gray line with a black line on top of it. So, okay, going from unlimited to revised, they had uh, the revised cards much lighter, much lighter. And they actually, uh, the uh, text is actually even more light on the revised than the even the unlimited. I think they were messing around with fonts, trying to make things easier to read. You know, the mana symbol is quite a bit lighter colored. Sorcery is easier to read. But main difference, main way to tell the difference between a revised and an unlimited, obviously, is that double border. Unlimited is double border. Revised is just one black line. So it's the easiest way to tell, at least for me. Um, I mean, if you don't have another card next to it, so if you say you pulled this out of a box and you weren't sure, if it was a revised or unlimited card, and you don't have an unlimited card, it'd be pretty tough for you to just look at that and know the difference. So just just be on the lookout for that, that double line. Um, that's the easiest thing I can give you advice on on that. Um, going to fourth edition. Now, fourth edition has got date code on the bottom. They bumped up the artist name and then they went and they put uh, 1995 here and then they started putting the copyrights of Wizards. Um, now they crisp, they made the, the, uh, the, looks like they changed the text. trying to streamline things and uh, they made the uh, the font a little more crispy so they were messing around with it some more trying to make it even easier to read obviously it's from even revised to fourth edition the drain life itself is much easier to read I think that's kind of where they started settling on the font for cards I actually like the uh, mana symbol on the revised more than the fourth edition personally you know just a personal preference but um, I believe the uh, the actual uh, like the border art looks nicer on the revised than the fourth edition it looks more muddled and faded oops Good thing I had a lap, but uh, it's it's much darker. Now let's look at the unlimited card compared to the fourth edition on the color quality. Very close. It's got a little more red. It's more of an orangey look on the fourth edition than the unlimited, but. Uh, 
there probably wouldn't be as much obvious standout had the revised not been so faded on their colors. So, uh, I don't know if, I don't think they've made a fifth edition during life. One second and I can find out real quick to see if I have one. All right, I'm back. Hey, look at that. I've got the next set, Mirage and Fifth Edition. So, in Mirage, they change the artwork, but you'll see after Fourth Edition. Come on, focus, you fuck. All right, so they went from 1895 to 1996. And they changed the text again. From Drain Life deals one damage to start creature or player for each black in addition to they just change it to for each black you spend in addition. Drain Life deals one damage to start creature or player. Alright, so we're streamlining yet again on the uh, text for this card. I mean obviously Artwork is quite different, but did they make the font on Drain Life any better? Kind of looks like they stuck. They stuck with that font, although they didn't switch back. Now look at the look at the mana symbol. The mana symbol just keeps getting better and better over time. All right. Now let's compare the Mirage one to the fifth edition, or the, the yeah, the 1997, yeah, fifth edition. Okay, so let's try to get as close as we can here. So that is the mana symbol they set on Swamp. Pretty sure that's even the same today. Now well, let's look at, yeah, here's a new Capena card. All right, so let's look at the set symbol on New Capena. So they put that in stone. That is the set symbol for Swamp. In the Dream Life series, that took hold, it looks like, and fifth edition. Yes. Or, or Mirage, I should say. Okay. So, did they streamline the text yet again? They did. Now they just have, you can pay X. So they basically denoted this whole first line to just X colon. That definitely streamlined stuff quite a bit even more. So over the years, it seems like WotC has even, you know, been working on, uh, hey, how can we, how can we make the text smaller on some of these cards? So we got, I'm going to zoom in on this stuff. So we've got Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, Revised, 4th Edition, Mirage, 5th Edition. So the only sets that I don't have is the International Edition and the Beatdown Box Edition and the special release stuff, uh, F&M promo. Um, as far as I can tell, uh, well, International Edition, they've also made the Collector's Edition, so, and the giant oversized card. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I don't really count that stuff. But let's, uh, let's do a little zoomy-zoomy here, see if we can get this in the shot a little bit better. The graduation from 
alpha through the last set that the release drain life on was fifth edition. So, you know, lots of revisions, corners, dark font, lots of words, uh, better corners, better font, um, streamlined a little bit. Next revision, less word yet again, uh, white border, double definition border, um, font change, uh, lighter mana symbol revised, that may have been just because it's the, the lighter print run. Um, Less words yet again. Uh, fourth edition. Fourth edition actually looks like it has more stinking words, but I think they made the words bigger. Um, yeah, fourth edition they made this the font m larger, bolder. Um, added the you know years, and then Mirage. Last words yet again. Art change. This is when they change to the set symbol that we use to this day. And then fifth edition, we've got keyword basically to shorten words up even further. Art change and uh, white border. Now, you notice know how that this is a unique artwork. I'm relatively surprised that they printed this as a white border card. Uh, I don't know what their criteria is for having to print it in white border, but in my opinion, this would be a different version since it has different artwork, just like Drain Life and Mirage. Now, in theory, since this is Drain Life, it does the same thing as this card, this should be white border. If they can print it black border just simply because they changed a few of the words and they changed the art, why did they put Dream Life as a white border card in 5th edition? Conundrums. So, anyways, thanks for checking out the video. Um, you know, we get to view a lot of the, you know, ongoing changes through the years to, to Magic and, uh, you know, Big shout out to Dungeons for hooking me up, you know, letting me use your Alpha through Revised, or your fourth edition, I should, I should say, uh, Drain Lives. And I'm glad that I had a, a couple of the other ones on hand. Um, you know, definitely think about checking out Dungeons. I think they have a TCG player store, um, or add them on Facebook. I'll, uh, I'll link it in the description um, to their Facebook page. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching and uh, keep your feet dry.